Hello everyone. Welcome to the faculty development program on FPGA implementation of digital design with Verilog HTL. Myself, Mrs. Geeta MN, Assistant Professor, Department of ACE, BBCE, Mysuru. Today's session deals with the FPGA implementation of analog to digital converter interface with the Verilog HTL. To begin with, this is the internal block diagram of an This is the internal block diagram of ADC0809, which consists of a 8 channel analog multiplexer, control and time in it, 256 resistor ladder output latch. Here we have used that is successive approximation converter is used inside this ADC0809 block diagram. The two inputs for this A to D converter are SOC that is start of conversion clock. At the output we have two more signal. One is the end of conversion indicate that analog is converted into digital is indicated with the signal end of conversion and the output is latched using a latch and this is a 8 bit output. Coming to the timing diagram of a 0809 the two important signal we need to concentrate is one is SOC that is a start signal another one is end of conversion signal. So there is an analog input so this analog input can be an input from any of the sensors like temperature sensor, pressure sensor or any potentiometer also we can use as an analog input. Corresponding digital value will be outputted at the output latch. Coming to the start of conversion. So start of the conversion should be, uh, there should be a transition from low to high then to an low. And similarly, end of conversion, it has to make a transition from high to low. And then once again, it has to go to high. Then only we will get a stable digital output. For the conversion of analog to digital, we require a three clock frequencies and a two signal. The first one is a system clock. Second one is a slow clock. It is used for state machine operation. Medium clock, it is used for displaying red out digital output to 7 segment display. Here, we are in order to display the digital output, we are using a 7 segment display or LCD also we can use it. But now here, we are using a 7 segment display. The two signals are start of conversion and end of conversion. Coming to the state diagram. SOC represents start of conversion, EOC represents end of conversion. Totally there are four, four states are there starting from 0 to 3. So when the start of conversion signal is given that is when SOC equal to 1 it moves, to, moves into the first one, first state or else it will remain in the same position. When SOC is 1 so it will enter it to the state 1. In the state 1, it will check for end of conversion. If EOC is equal to 1, it will remain in the same state. When the end of conversion is equal to 0, then it will move into the state 2. In the state 2, once again it will check for end of conversion. If it is a 0, it will remain in the same state. And if it is a 1, which will indicate that so analog input is converted into digital output. In the state 3, we are going to read the digital output from the ADC. Here, upper nipple and lower nipple, in order to obtain the upper nipple and the lower nipple of the digital output of the ADC, we need to emphasize this is nothing but an AND with 1110. And then we need to write shift by 4 bit in order to display on to the 7 segment. So for this operation, slow clock is used for reading 
and display we are going to use a medium clock coming to the program modulate adc so clock digital out end of conversion start of conversion address seven segment display seven segment display enable since in fpga kit we have a four displays in order to enable that display we are using a seven segment display this is nothing but seven segment display is a an eight bit port which is used to enable the segments input clock and another input is end of conversion input digital out it is an eight bit output start of conversion we have initialized the start of conversion initial with the zero bit output address address also it is initialized as zero seven segment display it is initialized as zero zero so display enable is also zero 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 coming to the clock division we have taken a 12 bit as a clock and uh, data read from the adc also initialized to starting it is initialized to zero zero current state it is zero zero next state it is initialized to zero zero lower nipple upper nipple both are initialized to zero zero seven segment display codes since we have zero to f so it is zero down to 15 codes are used this is a lookup table for a seven segment if zero has to be displayed then the binary bit equivalent the binary bit one one zero 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 will be given similarly for 10 it is one zero zero one zero for 13 it is one zero one zero zero one so here 10 11 12 13 14 15 is nothing but a a b c d e f it is going to be indicated with a a b c d e f coming to the program wire slow clock and another wire we are going to take it as a medium clock so register 1 down to 0 segment counter it's starting which will be a 0 0 always set positive edge of the clock begin clock div equal to clock div plus 1 so now we are going to divide the clock and the 11th bit of the clock we have taken it as a slow clock and the 4th bit we have taken it as a medium clock as I already explained the slow clock is used for the state machine operation medium clock is used for the for displaying the uh, digital output always at positive edge of the slow clock begin so both the state we are going to equate it that is the current state equal to the next state n always at positive edge of the slow clock begin case current state so it's going to have a four state zero 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 one 10 and 11 so in the 00 state we are going to give a input start of conversion equal to bit 1 and the address as 0 next state will be 01 when the start of conversion is equal to 1 and the address is 0 next state will be 01 so in this the 01 state start of conversion will be once again it is made 0 and it will check for the end of conversion if the end of conversion bit is equal to 0, so it will remain in the same state, that is 0, 1 state only. Else, if it is 1, it will enter into the second state, that is 1, 0. Once again, it will check for the end of conversion, whether it is 0 or 1. So, if, if it is a 0, then it will remain in the second state. When it is 1, it will move into the third state. In the third state, it is going to read the data from the register. So, data read from ADC equal to digital out. Lower nipple, data read from ADC and it is added with 8 bit 00011 in order to get the lower nipple. In order to get the upper nipple, data from the ADC, we are going to emphasize with the bit 111. 0, 0, 0, 4 ones and four zeros and we are going to right shift so that it will be displayed in the second so now we got both upper nipple and lower nipple displayed next state will be once again it will come back to the begin state 
by default state it as 00. Now we need to display the data removed from the EDC that is the lower nipple and upper nipple. In order to display this we need to consider a medium clock. Always set positive edge of the medium clock case segment counter 00 begin. 7 segment display enable we have enabled the segment that is for a lower nipple it is 1110 that is the right hand side first segment will blow n for the second this 11017 segment second display is enabled and the upper nipple will be displayed by default seven segment enable will be 111 segment counter equal to segment counter plus to bit it is 01 and end module Welcome to the demo session of ADC interface that is analog to digital converter interface using FPGA kit. This is the experimental setup for ADC interface which has FPGA kit, ADC interface unit and power supply. In FPGA kit we are using device XC3S350, family Spartan 3, pin package PQ208, and we are using a software designing ISC 10.1 version. The ADC interface as an IC ADC 0809 and the input is given through a sensor which includes the device like thermocouple, thermistor, RTDs and semiconductor sensors etc. We are giving a input using a potentiometer. In IC0809, which will give a binary equivalent of the input voltage. Input voltage will vary from 0 to 5 volts and the ADC output varies from 00, 0 to FFH. See that we are giving the input using the potentiometer and the, this is an IC that is ADC0809. First, we need to invoke the Xilinx ISC 10.1 version, 10 version by double clicking on the icon. Now, you can see a file. Click on to the file. Open a new project. Give a name to the project as ABC. Then press next. These are all the device properties. You can see that there is a, uh, that is the family is Spartan 3. Device we are using is XE3S50 package PQ208 and we are using a language Verilog. Then press next, 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 and then finish. Now at the left hand side you can see there is a device XE3S50 and also the project name as ABC. Now we need to write the text that is a code related to ADC. Click on to the text, add a text file, enter the program as adc.v file, save. Next uh, click, right click on the device, add a source. ADC.V open OK. Click on OK. Now the code is entered. The next step is to check the syntax error. Click on to the check syntax. So since there is no error, it's showing the green tick. The next procedure or the next step is synthesize the code by clicking on the synthesis. Next, we need to enter the input-output pins by selecting Floor Plan I/O pre-synthesis. Double-click on that. Process. Now we need to enter the input-outputs using a data sheet.
first the address output it is P172 next it is a clock P79 next the digital out 0 it is P196 P197 P191 P194 P189 P190 P185 P187 Next end of conversion input it is P199 Next 7 segment display enable it is P2 P3 P7 P3 Next P7 P9 Next 7 segment display 0 It is P10 P11 P12 P13 P15 P16 P18 P19 the Last one is start of conversion It is an output pin It is P171 Save this file So now user constraint file is ready Next press OK The next step is the implementation step So double click on the implement design Under this the process like translate mapping and place in routine occur Next press configure target device Double click on that file will be generated press ok run it nice. before that bypass this select adc.bit and then open select device 2 apply ok right click on the device program now program succeeded now you can observe the output by varying this input we are going to display the output on a 7 segment display you can see that if I vary a potentiometer there is a change in the value which is expressed in terms of x value 0 0 to ff So instead of this potentiometer, we can use any sensor like thermistor, thermocouple or an RTD. By varying that uh, as a sensor, we can observe uh, changes in the output value which is shown on the 7 segment display. Thank you.